Hey guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you this um, new die from Creelys. These are actually two of the new release dies. This is cards, and this is number 304, and it is a gatefold shutter card. And this is one of the new Cree Nest, Cree Nestle's XXL dies. This is 111. They're both very pretty, and I used those to go ahead and make this really pretty gatefold easel shutter card. So what it does is it closes up, oops, just like that. The whole card itself folds down. You can see the layers I have. And then it just pops up and then it opens up to reveal a cute little message to my suite. And then it closes right back down and just like that. Anyway, it is a super fun new die to go ahead. It's very interactive. You could use this in mini albums. This would make a very fun page in a mini album or just as a card or whatever you want. You can even add a cute little photo in the side here. So when you open it up, you see a cute little picture. But anyway, following this video, I do give you a tutorial on how to do this and on how I made my easel style card and I hope you enjoy it. So we're gonna get started on one of the new dies from Creolese, and this is a cards die, and this is called a gatefold shutter card, and this is a lot of fun to go ahead and make. So I'm gonna show you what you need, and I'm gonna follow the same example that Mandy showed um, the design team on how to create it. So I'm going to do the same thing because I think with the separate colors, it's easier to understand. So with the largest one, so this is the gatefold part, you're going to cut one out like that. Well, let's put this off to the side. And then with this piece and this piece, so these two here, you're going to cut out in white, so you need that. And in these two pieces, you're gonna cut them out. So one with the hole is gonna be red and you're gonna need two of the bigger pieces. And then what's left is the smaller piece and this. And you're gonna cut one of those and two of those. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this together. All right, let me get some tape, because tape is gonna go much quicker than gluing for me. So we have our base card right here, and then these two pieces will fold in. So this what gives you the fold part. And Go ahead. Why am I? I'm a little tight here. Uh, I'm going to burnish those down. So this is what we have. And then we're going to take this piece here. This is going to go in the middle. So I'm just going to add some tape on here. And then we're going to center this to the space. So you're going in the middle of, you don't want nothing to bind up. So these still will move. We have that. Then the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and add these two little pieces here. So you can see these stitch lines like clearly right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tape to the top part oops, where you can see the stitch lines are nice and clean. Trim off my tape. And 
And now what you want to do is you want to take your ruler and we want to put these in the center. So the center point is one eighth of an inch in here. So I'm going to go one eighth and I'm just going to make a little mark. And then the other side, I'm doing the same. And then I'm going to do it to this side as well. Oops. Okay. So now I'm going to take these two pieces again. Remember, your tape is on the top where you have the nice clean lines, and you're going to flip it. And what you want to do is put this in between your two little marks. So let me show you my marks. So you can see my marks there. And you're going to place this in between centered. And you're going to go up to the score line, but not quite touching it. So you want to be like a little hair's distance from that line. And when I have it centered, I'm going to hold it. You can tape it down if you want and flip it up. If it's easier, you can go ahead and give it a little fold. And set it on right there. So this is what you have. And then what you want to do now is you can go ahead and burnish those. What you have now is when you fold them over, they should line up perfectly even if you've centered it right. If not, just make them and just burnish through to get them even. All right, so then the next step is if you want to go ahead and add something to the bottom, like a cinnamon or something like that, what you want to do is keep these folded like this. And you're going to go ahead and place this piece over the top, centered to the area. And you don't have to do it, just keep in mind where the circle part is going to cut some of it off. So if you just go ahead, whoops, just kind of put a little mark in. So you know you have to maintain that area. So this is my little area that I have to stamp in. And I just have this cute little smiley face stamp, guys. So we're going to just go ahead and stick a smile face on. And just like that. You can see them and then if you fold it down you can see them peeking out and then I'm just going to erase my lines okay so then the next step is we want to go ahead I need that little guy there and I need some foam squares so let's take this one and flip it over I'm going to add some foam squares to it oh, those ones are no good well you know what let's just use back. Are these still good? That's not thick enough. Hold on, let me find some squares. All right, I found some better foam squares. Put these on here. All right, so good there. 
So now we're going to stick it down. And it's so cute how the little face will peek out. It kind of reminds me of the old style cameras kind of thing. So now what you want to do is go ahead, hold those down and then center this guy to that area. And then as it opens and closes, ta-da, he's so cute. All right, so now the next step is we want to go ahead. Now these pieces here are for the top. So let's go ahead and add some tape real quick. And then in a minute, I will show you what I created. And then we can finish wrapping up our easel card. So like I said, I recommend make a sample first. Then you know what pieces you're going to need where. It'll also give you a good idea of direction if you're using pattern paper. That way you'll know what way to cut things out. Because like for these ones, you would need these going um, up and down. And depending on your paper on different things, you'll get a good idea. So you could do this card even like this way if you want, or you can do them this way, whichever way you decide to do them. Okay, so now we have these pieces right here, and this little guy, I need a foam dot because we want to pop that up. That's got a little foam dot. So now what you want to do is, let me get my glue. And this guy, you only want to glue it to half. So you want it to be oops, like this. So you just want to glue to half the circle. And you can make a mark if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. And let that try. And then over here, you're going to take the other circle and glue it to the other half. Oops. My glue made it slip. So then you have this. So they tuck in each other. And then this one, you're going to stick to the center. So this is what you have, and then they open up. And that's so cute. So let me show you what I made, and then we will continue on with the easel card part. So also new this month is the Cree Nestle's XXL dies, and this is a new one, and this is number 111. And we also got this pretty one here that is number 112. It's very pretty. I used 111 for this one here. So this is my little cute gatefold shutter card that I created. So as you can see, I have the pretty butterflies on it. And it opens up. And then inside it says, to my suite. And that was part of the paper collection. All I did was cut out that and just added it to inside. So I thought it was pretty. And then it just folds right on up. Whoops. Just like that. So now what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and do the easel card part. So what you need is two pieces of cardstock. One is going to be 6 by 12 and the other one is going to be 6 by 6. And you're going to need a scoreboard. 
So you can do this two ways. Oops. You can either take this and fold it in half, but I'm going to score it instead. So I want to score it in half. So it's 12 inches, so half is six. So we're scoring it in half, just like that. And then again, if you don't have a scoreboard, you're going to fold it and fold it in half one more time. But I'm using my scoreboard and half a six um, from the six to the 12 would be nine inches. And we're going to fold that. Done with that one. So again, all you're doing is folding it in half and then unfold and then in half to the center. And that's all you need to do for that part. And this is the piece that we have that is six by six. And this is going to get attached to just this strip right here. And it's going to go on just like that. So then when it folds down, everything should be nice and even. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put my score tape on. You can also glue if you wish. So I'm putting it on one side here. And then what I'm going to do is putting it on this piece just below the score line. And I'll show you. Again, you may want to use glue or add even more, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to show it to you this way. So you can kind of see right there's the score line, and you can see my spacing there. And then I have it on this piece. So make sure everything is all squared up. What you're going to do now is you have it this way. This is just going to flip up on top. And to make sure we're all square. And if I know that's square, I'm going to stick down the first piece. So I have that. And then I can open this up and just remove the one inside. And then this is how we now have our easel card. So I'm going to add some pattern paper and then this little guy is going to go right on the top. So I went ahead and cut out my pattern paper. With these cute little butterflies. This is new paper from Prima that I have. So this is my easel card. So this is what we have. So I want to go ahead and attach this to the top. So it looks good there. And this one, I put did put a piece in the middle because I'm going to have the weight of the front of the card on it and I didn't want it to bow. Like that. And then I'm going to open it up. And, oops, I can just flip this down. And now this piece, so I have this one again. I'm centering it to my space. This is going to be so pretty. So this is what we're working with right now. This part here, I want to center to this area. So it's going to go on right like that. And I'm thinking I want to pop it up. Seeing how we're playing with pop dots, well, let's keep playing with pop dots. So I'm going to use some thicker pop darts for this. One in each corner. And 
I'm going to center this to my area. So I think that looks good. So right now this is what we have. Very pretty. I love all the layers too. And then it will open up. And then we have this part. But what we need to do is we need to create a piece that will keep our card from slipping because that's the point of the easel card. So let's go ahead and see what will look good here and what size I need. So I think I, think I like that size. So I'm going to cut this one out and the next size down in pattern paper. So I'm going to cut these two out. So I went ahead and cut that out. It's going to look pretty just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some tape. And set this one on. That looks even right there. And I need some pop dots again. I'm not going to go so thick with these pop dots, so I'm going to go a little thinner ones. And I'm doing that because when the card's folded down and if you have it in an envelope, this way it's not going to create too much bulk. You just really need it as a little stopper for your card. The top of the card, that is. Take off the stickies. And I left space, so I have the little flowers here, and I have room for a small note. So what you're going to do is pop it up, and you're going to determine best where you want your card to stop. So I think right there is going to look good. So I'm just going to make sure it's even. And then there you go. Isn't that so pretty? And then if you open it up, this is what you have. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. And you could always add little strings of pearls on here. This would look really pretty if you added some pearls to it. But there you go. That's how to go ahead and make that cute little gatefold shutter easel card. That's a mouthful. So pretty. All right, so anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like the new release dies that are out this month from Creelys. They are so pretty to use. This would also make a very pretty page in a mini album, which could be a future idea. But anyway, if you um, aren't already subscribed to the Creelys YouTube channel or Patty's Crafty Spot, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye. Thank you.